Hello and welcome to the White Space Virtual Gallery. In this video, I'm going to be giving you a tour of the exhibition space itself and also introducing the features of an interactive exhibition. So after that load screen, I now find myself inside the 3D gallery. I'm running this application on a PC and I'm just going to be using my mouse and the arrows on my keyboard to find my way around this virtual 3D space. So just using my mouse to look around, I can see I'm at the entrance to the gallery and using my arrow keys on my keyboard, I can start walking around. So just using forwards and backwards, the up and down arrows, along with my mouse to turn my head, I can walk around the gallery space. Uh, for anyone who's not so familiar with 3D applications such as this, or who hasn't used things like computer games before, um, there's a little bit of a learning curve to get used to the controls, but it only takes about five minutes before you're up and running and should be easy to find your way around, no problem at all. It is also possible to use a gamepad, so if you don't want to use keyboard and mouse, you can use something like an Xbox or a PlayStation controller. Um, and it's also possible to get a virtual gallery as a VR application, so for a VR headset and a full immersive experience. So I'm just going to give you a tour of the gallery space first of all. So as we come through from the entrance area there, we enter this larger lobby with big wide windows, nice light coming in, some, some cool shadows on the walls, and it's a very bright and airy, clean, modern gallery design, and it really shows off the artwork on the walls. Okie dokie. So in this space, I've got two options. I can go through here into that large room there, or I can head down this corridor here. So I'm just going to go along this corridor and into this smaller space here, which has a room for about four or five pieces of work. And here we've got some stairs up to the next level, or I can continue along this corridor here. And as I come around the corner, looking back in that direction, I can see that I've walked the whole length of the exhibition building. And this is the largest room with space for eight or more works of art on the walls here and very high ceilings, a lot of natural virtual light. And over in this corner, we've got another staircase. So if I run up here, we've got a walkway and a balcony, more wall space for artwork. And this is the large balcony area with space for a few a few works of art with pride of place on some of the walls here. Just down below, I can see where we started. And here we got the view of the large room. If I walk through here, then we then got a, a smaller balcony space divided off from the other area, perhaps for a, another artist for who wants to show just a small selection of work. And here we have some stairs down back to this room where we were earlier. And if I just go around this corner here, I'm back where I started. Okay. So to introduce some of the features of an interactive exhibition, you can see in the bottom left corner, it's telling me to press space for artwork info and to press shift for exhibition info. So I'm just going to press shift first of all, and that brings up this information about the exhibition as a whole. Uh, on this page, we've got the list of artists, which at the moment are just placeholders. Um, we've also importantly, we've got the gallery website address. So every virtual gallery that Curation produces has its own unique web page. And on this web page, people can go there to download the virtual gallery itself for PC and Mac. So that's what I'm using right now is the PC version. The Mac version looks exactly the same. Um, on that gallery page, you'll also have listings of all the artworks that are on sale and links to the product pages for each of those so they can be purchased through the shop. There's also details about the artists inside the exhibition and there will be a video tour of every exhibition that we produce, similar to what I'm doing now, except focused on the artwork rather than the technicalities and the features. Okay, and then we've got a lovely big map on the right hand side, just showing you the space I've just walked around. Okay, so if I press shift again, I can just hide that screen. And now I'm going to see what the artwork info is all about by pressing space. I'm going to go over to this piece here because it's an actual artwork rather than just these placeholders here. So if I press space in front of this, first of all, at the top on the left of that panel, we've got a uh, space for an artist photo. So every artist that shows their work in here has the option of putting a profile picture 
along with their work. Then we've got details about the artwork itself, so the title of the piece, the name of the artist, the medium of the artwork, and the size of the artwork. Now, you have the option of displaying artwork at real world scale and showing it in the 3D space using the correct dimensions that it has in the real world if it's an original piece. Um, you also have the option of scaling it up if you wanted to and blowing it up to double size or quadruple size and really using the space you have available. And then you can, of course, sell your artwork at different sizes. If you're selling prints, for instance, you might offer a particular piece at A4, A3, A2 and have all those options available in the shop. Uh, underneath the size, we've got a little bit of space for the artwork description. And at the moment in this demo gallery, it's just telling us where we are in the gallery space. So right now we're in the lobby area. Underneath that, we've got space for a web address and an Instagram address, plus the price for the artwork if it's for sale and the unique code for that artwork if you needed to quickly find it in the shop through uh, another channel. The easiest way to find an artwork in the shop is just to hit enter when you're looking at it. And you can see there it says press enter to view this in the curation art shop. And what that will do is it just opens up your internet browser in the background, takes you to that particular piece of artwork, and then it's just a matter of uh, clicking to add it to your shopping cart. Okay, and you can see while I've got that information panel open on the left, as I move around the gallery, it updates to show me different information for each piece of work. So at the moment, not a lot of it is changing just because it's only the title and the size that is different between these two pieces. But if I have a bit more of a look around, we can see we've got a Mondrian piece here. So as I walk up to there, I'm getting information about that piece of artwork. And I've got a piece over here by Van Gogh. There we go. And there are a few other real pieces of artwork around the gallery dotted around. Um, but just to show you some of the other features we've got, in addition to the information about each artwork, you do have the option of displaying uh, your work on a canvas with simple white or whatever color you want uh, on the sides of the canvas panel itself. Or you can add a frame. So this one here is an example with a glossy white frame. Over here, we've got a, a kind of a pale wood, sort of a pine effect frame. Um, the Van Gogh has a glossy kind of metallic black frame. And yeah, you can see around the gallery space, we've got a lot of different kind of framing options on show. So there's a few different options there. White frame, black frame, any kind of color of frame you can have. You can also go for a wood effect or you can simply have it shown on a canvas panel. And you can even change the, the color of the edging around that. Okay, so upstairs we have the balcony area with a, a few wall spaces along here and more wall space on the balcony. So just to tell you a little bit more about what you would get if you were to use one of the gallery spaces here, each, each space is a minimum of three meters wide. Um, you can see that even with a three meter wide piece. So this one here is 298 by 355. So it's basically three meters wide. And there's plenty of space in between each artwork and we wouldn't, we wouldn't um, crowd things together. Um, we have divided the space so that there are options for artists to show a small number of works together. So someone, for instance, could show three pieces of work here and they've got their own little area of the gallery. This large balcony has room for four or five pieces, and then there's the walkway along there. Each of the wall spaces is marked in the curation shop for sale, and you can see that on the map as well. So if I just bring that up as well, again here, you can see the markings showing each wall space in the gallery. And there's more detail on the curation website if you were interested in showing your artwork in a virtual gallery space. So if you were to do that, you would not only get the unique virtual gallery page on the website where you can send people to download the 3D gallery to see your artwork listings and to see more information about the exhibition itself. Um, you would also be able to link to that through any social media. Um, you can put it in an email. You can easily redirect people to your gallery page. And it is literally a case of 
um, clicking on a download link which will then start the download to your computer giving you the application on your local hard drive of your machine which means you, you even if you don't have an inter internet connection after that you can still use the application just the same okay just going back downstairs into the large main space Here we are back again. For another look around. So the artwork you can show here, it does need to be flat artwork. So that could be a photograph, a painting, illustration, anything that you can send us as a photographed piece of work. Uh, we can show sculptures and 3D work, but this is done on a per piece basis so it's not as simple as buying a wall space for an artwork because it obviously involves some 3d modeling and things like that so if you're interested in showing three-dimensional work such as installation art uh, sculptural work or anything with um, an animated component for example or something that involves use of lights um, we can do that but we would need to discuss the individual piece to see the kind of the time scale and the costs involved in making that and reproducing that. Just to show you the, the level of detail on the artwork here, if I walk up to the Van Gogh, we can get very close and you can see individual brush strokes. So it's really high resolution and the resolution of the artwork in the gallery depends on the resolution of the, the photography that, that's provided. So before we put any artwork into the virtual gallery, we will tweak a few things using Photoshop or Lightroom to make sure that the color and the contrast looks really good inside the gallery space and that it's going to look realistic okay and just to show you one of these placeholders so you can have a bit of time to read it you can exhibit your art in this virtual gallery share it globally online via the download accessible from anywhere to just about anyone who has a computer you can sell it in the art shop so you would be paying for the exhibition space in the 3d gallery but then listing itself is free. So you can list your artwork in the art shop and there are further details and terms and conditions about how you sell your work. So you can find that on the curation website. Um, it allows you to connect with art lovers because you can give a bit more information about yourself and about the work, including inspirations and the, the processes behind it, for example. And if you're interested in getting involved, being part of a group exhibition, and showing a few pieces of your artwork in a, a group show, then you can find out more on the curation website. If you are, for example, a gallery or a curator or simply an artist with a, a large body of work, you can also create completely unique exhibitions in spaces such as the white space, but also by creating your own uh, 3D gallery space, working with us to create something new, or perhaps even using one of our other ready-made spaces. So uh, that's the end of the video tour. And if you have any questions, get in touch with Curation. Our email address is hello at curation.com. So that's Curation with a one and a zero because it's digital curation. Thanks very much. And you can also find more details underneath this video. Thanks very much. Bye-bye. Cool.